Hey guys, Christina Ritchie. If you want more pars, but you're pulling your hair out because you're pulling all your golf shots and you just can't figure out why, well, let's identify the popular culprit. All right, there's a laundry list. So let's see if we can find out what's causing your pulled shots. Let's get to it. So the first thing to check, the very first thing is your grip. All right, if you have a strong grip and you're bowing your wrist, so you're flexing it on the downswing with a strong grip, you're most likely going to pull it. Right, so you really want to pay attention to your grip. If your lines created by your thumb and index are pointing to your back shoulder, all right, that's a strong grip. And if you come down and you're bowing that lead wrist, all right, look what it does to the club face. It really shuts it. All right, so then you're going to have to bail to try to get loft on it. So pay attention to your grip. If it's super strong, you really don't need to add this extra bow coming in. And one thing to look at if you're pulling your shots is your trail shoulder, all right? Is it really getting ahead or aggressive during the transition, all right? So if that sounds like you, you really gotta feel like this shoulder stays back a little longer, all right? We wanna be able to rotate through but if we get aggressive, that's going to pitch the shaft forward and you're most likely going to pull it. So definitely pay attention to your divot pattern. All right, it can tell you a lot if you're pulling your shots. If it's across, you're steep. If it's going in to out, maybe you're coming too in to out. You really want it down the target line, depending on the shot shape. Pay attention to your divots. All right, so this here represents the target line. When you set up to the ball, I see this a lot. Make sure you're not hooding this face. So this is square, this is shut. Now if you find that this is the case, the first thing to check is your grip pressure. Are you death gripping it? I'm gonna tighten my grip, boom, shuts the face. I kinda exaggerated there. All right, I just lightly tighten the grip where it's just a little too much and that is shut. All right, or just pointing a little left of the target. So just watch your club face at address. All right, so another thing to look at if you're pulling your shots is your club face. If it's open as you come into delivery, right, if, it's coming, if you're coming down and say you're cupping your lead wrist and that's opening this club face, the only way to square it up is to early release. All right, so if you're coming down and you're cupping your lead wrist, maybe because you're trying to get some lag, you're going to early release. Okay, so that will send your ball left. Also, conceptual. I recently had a student that was actually trying to get under the ball. All right, when you get under the ball, that closes the face, you tend to early release and the ball's gonna go left, All right? So getting under it is a popular term and we don't actually get under it, all right? Yes, on the driver we swing up, but we don't get under the ball. All right, so under really is what, what the hands are doing. They're actually the trail hands coming underneath and you're trying to help the ball in the air and you have this look coming through and you end up getting the chicken. All right, it's a really important point here. Conceptually, if you're trying to get under it, all right, I'm gonna take this off so you can clearly see here. If you're trying to get under it, you have this look going through. All right, that is incorrect amundo. We actually want to get a release. So almost like you're wiping the counter. That's the analogy I like to use. You're wiping the counter. We're not going to wipe the counter this way. No. All right. So this is the proper release pattern. This is what I call scooping or flipping up, all right, where the club flips up. This is what I define as a flip. All right, where you're actually getting under the ball and this trail hand's working this way instead of that way. All right, so as you come through, I'll just put the ball there as a reference. All right, here's your pre-delivery. You're going to have this look. All right, so you can see the club is working this way. 
right? That is a proper release with the trail hand where players go off as they come under it like this, right? They come under it. So this ball is slightly above my feet, all right? So when the ball is above your feet, it's going to follow the slope, all right? So make sure you adjust your aim. Otherwise, you could think that you pulled it. All right, it's really important. So I'm gonna aim a little bit more right than I normally would to accommodate for the slope, even though it's slight. All right, so I even pulled that a little. All right, but not a bad shot, not a bad shot. All right, so pay attention to the lie. Is it a pull lie? 